Faith Time is our weekly conversation on matters of faith, and joining us this morning is Angie Ishi with Magdalene's Inc. Good morning to you, ma'am. Good morning. Tell us about the organization. What is it that Magdalene's Inc. Does. So Magdalene's is a faith-based organization serving women who are coming out of sex trafficking, right. who are have been sexually exploited or who have been um, trafficked. So why was this organization formed in Northwest Florida? Florida ranks number three in the country for human trafficking. And we realize that it happens in our own backyard. And at this time that God was calling us to this purpose to serve women in our own community, we realized that there was a massage brothel, a massage parlor that had been cited for having sex trafficking happening yeah. in its walls. And we took that over and turned it into a beautiful gift shop and we serve women. So how does a woman become a victim of this sort of thing? Well, a lot of people think of it as the movie Taken yeah. or the white panel van where children are abducted at bus stops. Um, but it happens uh, a lot more covertly than that. Almost half of cases are with someone that a person trusts already. It may be a family member, which is one of the fastest growing areas of sexual exploitation. But it is also happening through the internet, through video games, through chat rooms. Um, and it's always to someone who has a vulnerability that's targeted. Talk to me a little bit about, you know, again, the differences between what we think of what sex trafficking is versus the reality of it. It is just so important for healthcare providers, for parents, for educators, for all of us as a community to realize that it, it, it can be happening in the bedroom of your home. Yeah. It can be happening through text messaging, um, girls just innocently sending a nude photo to somebody because she's been offered a little bit of money and then it escalates. Um, it can happen with a runaway who within 48 hours is in the arms of a trafficker. Yeah. A difficult topic, but an important topic. We'll continue talking about this in the next hour of News 5 this morning. Faith Time is our weekly conversation on matters of faith. And joining us this morning is Angie Ishi with Magdalene's Inc. Good morning to you, ma'am. Good morning. We're talking about what your organization does, particularly in Northwest Florida, helping women that are uh, dealing with being victims of trafficking. Mm -hmm. First of all, how do you help women in need when it comes to this issue? Well, first of all, we have to get them to a safe place, right? right? Very often they are in very dangerous situations. And then we help them get the mental health that they need, the mm -hmm. physical health. We help them get life skills, job skills, have a mentor, get all of those skills that they need. Maybe they need education, maybe they need their GED. Maybe they have been in bondage to these circumstances for so long that they don't even know how to live independently. So we wrap all of that around them, not just us, but through collaborations with law enforcement, through other organizations to help them get the real help they need. How do you reach these women who might need this sort of help in the first place? Mm -hmm. They come to us, they yeah. walk in our gift shop, they call our gift shop, other organizations refer them to us. We are part of a continuum of care, so it's not just us, but we have to work linking arms with other organizations and other providers to help provide a comprehensive, holistic approach because the needs are just so very deep. You talk about uh, women coming to you. I, I think one of the issues here, and you obviously see this, is that there are some women that feel trapped in these situations? How do they get the strength or the courage to break away from these relationships that could be harming them? Mm. First of all, they have to even recognize that it is a harmful situation. And secondly, that there is hope, that there is hope to get out of it, to escape that bondage. And we're motivated by Isaiah 61 to prompt us to help people be free of bondage, to shine light in the darkness. So we get that message out to other providers in the jails, um, to other uh, homeless advocates. There are so many areas where women might not even identify as a victim of trafficking. Mm -hmm. Angie Ishi with Magdalene's Inc. We thank you for joining us for this edition of Faith Time. This segment and others will be available at our website at WK. ARG.com.